I think we go face. Uh, it's a chance of not killing the, the, the Quasar. We might get a one attack guy here, but I think going face for six is the way here. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> this is an automatic win against Zemek. You guys know that, right? He cannot deal with so fast. Get that win! Stop it! Making content for you guys is a full-time job, and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on, everybody? It's is Fry. So today we are doing an all-out ramp. This is not ramp package. This is all-out ramp. We're not only running ramps on turn one, two, and three, but we're also running ramp, which is gaining more sun every single turn. We're actually running metal puddle sunflower, which works very well in an all-out ramp deck. Uh, very good card if you can play it, you know, up before turn four. Uh, like three costs, three, four, gain an extra sun. And we're also running the Toadstool, which will give you extra sun every single turn. And the thing we are ramping to is the corn. I specifically wanted to all out ramp to Colonel Corn. And once I'm going to do that, and we're running all these ramps with the team ups uh, and the twin sunflower and the sunnier shroom, which are giving you extra sun every turn, but they're also team ups. You got to run, um, you got to run Cobb Cannon as a big, extremely good. Uh, late game card that can also automatically remove something if it's played on top of a team up And once I'm doing that and we're doing ramp package is a perfect opportunity to run a couple of cornucopias Not a great deal for 10 because it's usually spawning bad minions However, if you can play this three turns early or turn seven, this is actually amazing uh, And we're also running kernel pull because we needed some early game removal. So we're running four times the corn I'm really excited for this deck. I think the way that this is all put together is very Nice too. Uh, you got plenty of early game removal with the berry blasts and solar flares, superpowers. Uh, the Colonel Pult is going to be very good not only as a base to cop cannon or a way to correct trades and keep your cards, your ramp cards alive to get to the late game, but it's also very good at removing like key one health minions like T shirt and genetic experiment and paparazzi. Uh, running also a couple environments. This will be both to cover your opponent's environments and to keep ramping. Uh, I really wanted to fit, and I ended up taking like one copy of Colonel Pulse and one copy of Sunnier Shroom out of the deck in order to fit into Ice Spore. This is a card anyway I wanted to uh, really try to use more ever since I did the Solar List. I've sort of promised myself the tier list. Uh, promised myself I'll try because this is a really, really high value card, and I think this deck will also be perfect for it because you're not really establishing a lot of tempo uh in your lane so you'll end up that anywhere your opponent plays a zombie uh you'll be able to play ice and actually remove it super efficiently you know the main tempo cards that your tempo if you want to call it that, that the cards you're developing are twin sunflower and sunny or which are team ups so if they put a big zombie in front of that you can easily correct that by just playing ice and then playing anything on top of that you got plenty of cheap uh, minions in this deck in order to play on top of the ice spore. Let's see how this deck does. We're going to basically be controlling and finishing with Colonel Corn and Cobb Cannon. Uh, this will just absolutely field clear them, especially if you're playing this early. I mean, you know, if it's turn five, they're not going to really have more than four health per minion anyway, and this will just absolutely demolish them. Let's see how the deck does. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into the games. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to do best. So if you think we're going to win six out of eight, the game should take a little bit long. Who knows? Maybe we'll win really fast. Maybe this is actually a, secretly a very fast deck. But if you think we're going to win six out of eight games, vote yes. Five out of eight is going to be an over here at the live stream. Twitch.tv forward slash fry up. So we're not going to be keeping Colonel Corn in our starting hand. We're really looking for two uh, early game ramp cards or removal cards. So it looks like this is our hand. We are bricked first game. Not off to a good start, but we did get one of these. I think because we don't really have a second card to ramp to, we're just going to pass. Hopefully it doesn't have Infinity Clones. Got lucky. So, we have a choice to make right now. Like, I don't... Twin Sunflower also doesn't really get anywhere here. I think I'm just going to develop you. And this will actually put some pressure and help defend the, ourselves. We'll do the Twin this Sunflower next turn where it actually like ramps it up to ramps. 6 where we can play one of our Toads. Um, corn Ramp, so it should be called Cramp. There you go. So what is this going to be? It's either going to be Jester. Could be a Flame Face, and he just is running Pirates with 
Overshoot. Could be Abracadaver. I'm not going to play her on Abracadaver. I'll play her on Jester. It usually goes along with this better. I'm just going to spam. It could be Line Dancing Zombie, too. Should I play around? Okay, this does play around Line Dancing Zombie. It kind of plays around Abracadaver. Doesn't play around Flame Face. I guess this goes here, actually. Okay, this is going to go here. And this is going to go here. This doesn't die until this trades with Line Dancing Zombie. All right, that's the right play. It is Swashbuckler. <laughs> well, I don't know why I didn't play that on two, but it's fine. We're okay. We're actually coming down to turn four with two ramp guards. So we are going to be able to toad this. Such a good toad target. Oh, I love it. Look at the toad, and it's going to continue ramping as well. This is good, man. This is great. How great of a card is this? Is uh, It's turn four. Uh, it's a 4-4 four, four that removes a a 3-3, three, three, a strong 3-3 three, three on the board. This, I don't know, he's just going to go phase probably, but it just means we'll have... I think we'll have Colonel Corn next turn if he doesn't kill one of these, yeah? That's fine. It's okay. So we ramp two. So I actually do have a Toad here if he plays a non-Gravestone minion. Otherwise, we'll just play this into Colonel Corn. I think we're doing great here. Doing great things. Could you play like a cowboy, please? No, not that's not here. God damn it. Um, I think it's just gonna be you. Question is, is there is there any reason to commit this Colonel pull? Not really. Let's just save resources. This is okay. What is he gonna fruitcake? Smoke bomb. Okay. Come on, we. Jeez, oh, you rolled. That was a big one. Uh, we're not gonna do that because we do have the Colonel Corn, which we're playing. Oh, we're getting low. We is getting low. We're up to eight. Basically, just spamming a Colonel Corn here. Is there a reason to rogue? Three and six equals nine. And we can't really play anything else. This doesn't really kill him, so we're either doing seven or nine. Seven means we'll just have to do four next turn. I think we I think we froke? We'll be in berry blast range next turn if we do Colonel Corn. I'm gonna assume he has line dancing zombie. No. I just want him to be. I know we don't have berry blast in our hand, but I want him to be within berry blast range because I'm just afraid of more strike through. It's fine. So now he's down. Also, like this metal pedal now in lane one. That only does three damage will actually kill him, as opposed to if we only put the four damage on. He can block, and then who knows what's going to happen. We're not sitting on enough health to take big risks here. Um, so it's going to be... We'll remove what we can here. So it's going to be... You. You. It just opens up another lethal lane. I don't think there's any going to be any difference between 4-4 four, four and 3-4. So let's just do it like this. Is there... This was deadly, but that was negated. I don't think there's a reason to spend these resources here. Trying to go face. What's the last card? Like, fruitcaking in one, I think, might be the play. No, oh, that's not enough damage. Not quite enough. He's down the port down to one. Could we please win here? Could you knock Infinity Clones in exactly four and five for the win? I mean, come on. No, 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 no. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? He rolled a three! I There's no way! There's no way! That was the fail of the century! Are you kidding me? Are you 
freaking kidding me? Oh, there's no way. There's no way. That didn't just happen. I I'm hallucinating. Somebody pinch me and wake me up. Emotional damage. <sighs> Chat's catch catching up to the catching up to the stream delay. to get exactly the right superpower and then get exactly those two lanes we had guaranteed lethal and it turns into guaranteed lethal for him holy crap fry just end the stream that's a great blame Canada event <laughs> no i'm not ending the stream I'm having any of that Honestly, that might have been the most epic fail in the history of this channel. Holy crap. Can't believe that just happened. Anyway, go. <sighs> in placement was let's say it was a ten percent chance. We're just going, you know. Let's say it was it was one in five and one in five. Let's just say that's how that works. Yeah. Probably we're a little oversimplified, but. He also needed to block there, which was unlikely. I mean, he rolled a, a mega three at the end. I don't know if that was a California roll or not. I think it was. I don't remember. I should have actually kept that, that cob. Whoops. I'm going to keep this against him. Like, this is an okay starting. And he also needed to get Infinity Clones, another one in three, and then he needed to get the exact placement. But again, it's not just about the likelihood of, some, of a good play happening. It literally turned... Guaranteed lethal for us into guaranteed lethal for him. That's the the point. It's all about the timing of that happening, you know? It couldn't have been a very likely thing to happen, man. See, now we can develop more ramp. I can't, though, if he passes. So we're just gonna give up on this right now. Let him, whatever. He didn't kill this on one. Oh, it's much better here. He's like, he's just like my, he's my cleaner. Yeah, here. This goes here, okay? We've got to get things organized. No, we're not having any of these on heights. It's not where it belongs. It belongs on the floor. 3-4 on turn 3 is very good against z -Mech. Extremely good. I love Metal Pedal so I should probably run this more often just as the card, man. We only run it in all-out ramp, and I, I just love this. And that's fine. That's the, that's the key. I really was playing around his Z-Mech Super, not playing a 2-2, two -two and he just gets a 2-for-1. It's just too much value, but we still get a 3-1, and we still get ramp. I mean, really, really good value here from the meta. Only killed this card kind of for free, you know? We take 3 damage in the process. So that's dry. So we can totally punish that. Question is, how are we going to do it? So double Berry Blast is a, a, a lot. 
Otherwise, we'd have to go one, three, four, four. No, it's not. It has to be double berry blast. All right, so it's fine. Well, it's a, it's a two for one. A little bit sad. I, I really wish, it, you know, if we had a something to actually answer that, that would have been nice. But uh, this is fine. We'll develop another ramp card. His Z-Max Super is gone, so we don't have to play with that anymore. Ah, oh, Z-Max Super. It's one of the most annoying things ever to play around. There's a lightning bolt, but we're still ramping. That's like a whole nother... This took two superpowers to remove. Love it. Absolutely love it. Absolutely crushed it. That's fine. So we're going to try to ramp to Cornucopia right now. We're making 7 next turn. This will be 8, 9, 10. Let's see if we can do it. It really depends what he got. Oh my gosh. If he got Z-Max Super again. Uh, there's no way to really play around summoning here. That I think is fine as long as it doesn't get Trapper territory. We get Cornucopia next turn. Yes! Guys! It's time to play guess what turn it is! This is gonna be turn 6 Cornucopia! This is good! See, as a 10 drop, this is garbage, but turn 6? Turn 6? I think we go face. Uh, it's a chance of not killing the, the, the Quasar. We might get a one attack guy here, but I think going face for 6 is the way here. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> This is an automatic win against Z-Mac. You guys know that, right? He cannot deal with Soul Patch. Get that win! Stop it! <laughs> That's some Highlight City right there, man. I forgot to change the score. We're one and one now. Yes! <laughs> Every game is a highlight. <laughs> in one way or another. Intro game to end. Doing the highlight comp as well. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. What about you? Uh, we don't have to mulligan for a one here. Having an answer to Laser Base Alpha in our pocket would be nice. It's like two, three, four. I think this is fine. <sighs> Hell yeah. I'm not scorching that. We'll get a good scorch eventually. Epic fail and epic win back to back. RNG sus is being moody today. Honestly, I'm having fun. I don't know about you guys. I'm having a lot of fun. So this is, you know, again, it's either drone engineer, teleportation zombie, or one of two pirates. Um, I think this is gonna go on ground because we have the Scorch, which we want to be in play. We also have, like, Solar Winds. <sighs> Having the option of a really good Scorch is it's fun here. It's Drone Engineer. But yeah, Twin Sunflower really punishes. It's usually Teleportation Zombie N2, but it equally punishes Drone Engineer. Maybe a little less because he this gets developed, you know. So now it's going to be a combination of, like, Metal Petal Sunflower and then either, like, uh, Scorch or Primal. There's also, like, Primal Scorch environment, but... I don't know. I don't see me playing this environment proactive against someone who's probably running, like, Laser Base Alpha. Uh, the Scorch does make this Drone Engineer die to our Metal Petal, so this is a very cool trade, and he just left my Twin Sunflower alone. Thank you for that, my kind sir. It also just, again, he gets a card from that, but it takes one sun, one brain worth of tempo off the board. It's just a little less damage now. 
Okay. I guess it makes sense there. But again, that's his super brain super gone. Um, so that's fine. We don't really need that to live. We're kind of awkwardly ramping up to five now, which we don't really have any fives. It probably might be, it would probably be good to just run like Allosaurus or something. We'll be alright. So we want to get to six. Just this living gets us to six already. Uh, so this, okay, if we were to place this behind, we could get really greedy and put this behind here. Um, so we're having six, this will bring us to seven, eight, and this will bring us to nine. Nine doesn't really do anything for, if we had a kernel corn, I would probably be going more for this play. I think I'm just going to use this to remove the two damage here. And we're going to safely put this here. I think we're moving... This will take one, and then it'll take two next turn. Do we want to protect our face like that? I basically am going to swallow this card next turn with the... Okay, it's not a ton of damage, taking four. I think I don't want to be in a situation where I'm forced to protect this next turn. I really want to swallow the Drone Engineer, which is this engine. And we're taking out the more powerful Bullseye. A little annoying we're not blocking because of these bullseye. We block here. Yes. Oh. Problem completely solved. Yeah, I'll take that out. It's too much damage, bullseye damage. Uh, so now we're ramping like insane. <laughs> we'll have the Ansel, the Colonel Corn. The Colonel. Oh, we have a Berry Blast too. Wow, so we can actually play one of these six drops plus Berry Blast this. We don't even have to swallow this anymore. Or we'll just hold the Berry Blast for later, which is good. All depends what this fool plays. Come on, Cowboy in one. <laughs> I'm like, since I'm running this, I really want everyone. Come on, play Cowboy. Do it. Will there ever be another tournament? We'll see. We were planning on doing one in the summer, but it kind of fizzled. That's sad. Is there a hope of you getting any new updates or cards in PvZ Heroes? Um, so, again, in theory, the way that that could happen is if uh, EA is acquired by Microsoft. <laughs> it's a long shot, is what I'm trying to say. It's a it's a long shot. That's a good very bless. a great very bless, though. <sighs> Love that. Yeah, we're kind of demolishing this guy with all the ramp. We have a Colonel Corn fully loaded here, too. That's okay. Just... Another card taken out by good old Metal Petal Sun. Love Metal Petal Sunflower. Love that. Plus, he's actually silver in this game. I love that, too. He's silver. It's so such an unoffensive color to make the, the face of a character, you know? I love that. <laughs> it looks like Dry Kernel Corn is the play here. Hell yeah. Uh, and right now, the ramp is not actually that important, so I'm gonna put this behind just to, you know, kill this drone engineer or whatever he's, he's got here. It's fine. Opponent's down to three. We don't we didn't get any more late game. Other, well, we've got two more cards. See, that's why I didn't want to... People were saying, like, maybe take out a... A toad. I, I, I really didn't want to cut any more of the late game, because really, in an all-out ramp deck, to only have 10 late game cards out of 40, it's probably not even enough, you know? Like, right now, we're really, like, wishing for another one. I think this deck really could use a third cornucopia. The metal pedals are so good, though. Take out metal pedal, one metal pedal, and put in another cornucopia. How about take out, like, a Twin Sunflower? It doesn't need to be. It, we don't have any 5-drops. The Solar Winds is also kind of breaking. <laughs> Doink! We haven't seen opponents play environments yet. At the moment, we get, like, Laser Race out. He's rolling a 1 there. So lucky, by the way. But he did just give me, like, the best removal card in the game back in my hand, which I can replay, so... 
Not so sure about that. The metal pedal's so good here. What a play. It's just dry, dry. So yeah, we just spam super brains until he shuts the hell up. <laughs> This guy's still drawing. This guy's sitting on one health, and he's like, "Here's what I need to do: draw cards." That's what this. That's what I'm missing. I don't have enough cards in my hand. Uh, it's probably the only minion he's holding. I don't know what this guy's holding. Okay, more card draw. <laughs> Come on, you can get two answers here. Super brains who has no field clear and no small removal. You can, you can answer two cards. It's not that hard. Oh, <laughs> still. One doesn't do anything for him. <laughs> what are we now? Two and one or three and one? Why does it feel like three and one? The solar winds is bad, but I really want an answer to opponent's environments. It's so sad to use this and not cover. I could get rid of that. Should I get rid of them? I don't know. What environments are even good against the stack? Black hole doesn't really even matter. Solar winds are trash without Briaros. Metal pedal and toad is too much. No, metal pedal and toad is carrying. I just want more cornucopias. I would get rid of twin sunflower. I think to I want to keep the environments in this deck and just to balance it and have, you know, cornucopias a heavy like very heavy late game card. I think I'm just gonna do it like this. We have not seen ice pour yet. Because it's really, again, if we're running five drops, I could run, again, it wouldn't be bad to run Briar Rose in this deck. I don't know what I would take out at that point. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Alright, we'll definitely get rid of these Cornucopias early, though. That's a fantastic starting here. Look at this curve. Look at it. Bye-bye, Miss American Pie. I'm gonna not play around Black Hole. Uh, yeah, so you're saying if Microsoft were to acquire EA and then take a big look... By the way, since Microsoft acquired Overwatch, I don't know if any of you guys have been following. I haven't been playing much, but I've been following still, like, Overwatch. I get it in my YouTube feed. There's been a lot of really cool things happening with Blizzard since they were acquired by 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 Microsoft. They really got their their act together cuz obviously it's been one of the most, you know, crazy companies for a lot of reasons lately and scandals and all this stuff. And they really got it together in a game that really like the the devs were just so dormant about and it was so unsuccessful. They they really care about the game. They hired people who like really care about Overwatch. I think that if EA were to be acquired by Microsoft, which there's whispers of theoretically, of possibly that happening. Uh, I'll play around Weed Spray. No, commit this. Um, see, that's a good Solar Winds right there. It's like two for one. Kills this and plus gives us value in red. Uh, that's good. I think, I think, like Pop Cap and Plants vs. Zombies, the value, the nostalgia value for gamers. In a world that is making Mario movies and just made a Five Nights at Freddy movie and is like, you know, just superhero movies are the are the biggest thing. You know, like old school stuff. I mean, Plants vs. Zombies is there. It's right there with, you know, like Mario and, and, and Marvel. I'm not going to say it's as big as Mario, obviously. It's the biggest, you know, gaming, gaming uh, character ever, but like... It's there, you know what I mean? And I think someone could take a big look at it and say, we need to do something with this IPO and take a look at the games that already exist and say, hey, maybe there's something about this PvZ Heroes game that really a potential that was not realized. Uh, that would be the... God damn it, I played it to Excavator. <laughs> look at that three for one. We do get a Sunflower in our hand, though, so that's fun. 
And we also have a Colonel Bolt to solve that. We took more damage. It's not the end of the world. We'll, we'll just set up all our ramp again and we'll be fine. The thing we didn't find a use for in this deck is the Morse Spore. Uh, so let's just do a simple play here. Boop, 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 bounce a plant. Boop, boop, bounce a plant. It's okay. Another one. But he knows we have... You gotta wait to play that until I play the Solar Winds again. You're not, like, dominating this board that I'm not... I can't afford to spend three sun on a Solar Winds, brah. Brah. I don't really understand that play at all. It's fine. They'll cast me as Crazy Dave, exactly. <laughs> I could do it. I could pull that. We'll make the movie. I'll be in. I'll be Crazy Dave in the movie. <laughs> Come on. Easy. Frickin' easy. So we got six, one, and one or something? This doesn't seem very good here. I guess we sort of take this out. We play Colonel Corn here just to remove this. This is fine. And we'll play Sunflower like here. Yeah, the more spore really. I, I sometimes I'll run a couple gloom shrooms just to do be able to do something with more spore, but not this time. It's fine. Mid tuna. It, it, the opponent's doing pretty well here. I think we're okay. We don't really have a good. Mm, sorry, I'm a little bit off of what turn it is right now. If it's not Colonel Corn, we can anyway do this next turn. I think we are at Colonel Corn turn though. Hey yo! That's gonna be your nightmares. <laughs> this is rough. We really gotta try to protect our face here, right? Eh? I feel like Colonel Corn could be game ending if we don't use it this turn though. Well, I think I'm gonna slow play this a little bit. Two pretty weak cards. This is mid tuna, right? Go go yeti monk. We're okay. We're we're actually in, in decent shape here. The cornucopia makes a bunch of minions here now. And Colonel Corn, it really depends. If he develops gravestones, we'll cornucopia. If not, we are going to Colonel Corn this guy's Tuchus. Here's Mug. Let's quickly cheat here. We have to pay attention also to where exactly the, the other... So Landscaper is clearly in one. No. Metal Petals here. So Landscaper is either in one or two, and the other card is in the... The Mystery is there. Then Mug is in three, and the Pogo's in four. So we're gonna go after the Mug. We don't know, because it always shows zombies before, before plants in the little scrolling list there. Dragon. <laughs> I mean, he'll bounce the dragon, but that's a 12 1. That's hot. He'll probably landscape this one and bounce the dragon, but we got really good cornucopia. I mean, getting a 12 1 ain't bad here. It even trades, I guess. The plays to get rid of this, so his. What? Oh, it's a second landscaper. Okay. Still, he's bouncing the dragon, right? He's bouncing cornucopia. That's what you're doing. He bans a cornucopia because he needs the five damage to stay on it, but it doesn't stay on the board. What was those landscapers? That was a complete fail. <laughs> you landscape this one, you bet. 
He's going face for two damage. That's the play. <laughs> didn't do anything. Whee! Snap. Oh, he's playing. I guess he's playing for line dancing Zambier Cow Cowboy. That's actually smart. No, no, no. He, he did that correct. You keep the dragon and you play for you getting a line dancing zombie. Uh, it's actually a million IQ. Can you not get a gravestone here? A gravestone is... So it's going to be Colonel Corn. And then we can chomp this. Eight. <sighs> Maybe we play this first. We don't really have to chomp this card. We put the, as much damage as possible on the board. That's the first thing we do. And then we do this. And this will be, get thrown to one of these other two lanes that are only doing four and two anyway. So We're proccing the block and doing eight and then six, which is lethal. And Pona has no cards. So Neptuna Super will save the turn. Do that in lane two. Nope, got him. Cool, we beat uh, Neptu uh, Mid Tuna. That's especially with Solar Flare, who doesn't really have any answer to gravestones. I think that's a a definite accomplishment for this deck. So hell yeah. No, he actually played that correct. I was kind of making fun of him with the, the scorches, but maybe the landscape. I think landscaper. Oh yeah, it didn't matter to get this one because you're not bouncing the dragon. No, he actually did that perfect. I was making fun of him for the landscaper play, but. Going face there and trying to top deck a line dancing would be definitely the play. In blues camp. <laughs> anyway. Did we just play this guy? This feels like the same guy. Yeah, Cornucopia is carrying. Nope, this is not the same Neptuna. So, this is interesting. I don't think we super his face. We'll play both of these next turn. We can even kill like a whole space time with that, which is kind of awesome. I guess this goes on ground. This is okay on the floor. We're really the only consideration of ground is like black hole and laser base alpha. But since I have this card that I'm playing soon, I'd rather this one be on heights. I suppose if we had a Colonel Pult in hand, I'd be playing this on heights like last game because then we want them to be teamed up so it's not like pinging his block meter too much. Yeah, it looks like we have a really good play with Berry Blast and Super. So I think we'll keep this 3-2 alive. Yeah, this is tough. He'll have a 3-2, but the teacher is, teacher's just too rough. I think we have to. Because then he could Rolling Stone... I don't know. We'll, we'll take care of the 3-2 later. So this is Middle Manager, though. This also drew him a card. I mean, that's... <laughs> it's really, really good. So we'll be up to five now. If he plays a professional zombie here, we can't even make a good trade. So rough. That's a professional zombie. So we'll just go... Um... So Solar Winds actually kills this. I think I'm going to go Solar Winds here. I think doing it in an extra lane and getting extra sunflower for the second cob cannon is the way. A, a black hole will answer this. But getting a team up here against a 4-5 that he's probably gonna, you know, it's gonna be really annoying to deal with. This is the way. Taking this, you know, this is a really good use of the little sunflower. It ramps. It is a base for a cob cannon. So, we got away with it. Black hole scary, man. <laughs> but... We did it, boys. Yeah, this is not a good card because we're not really ever going to remove... Oh my gosh, we even have another answer now. That's insane. I could say just save the Colonel Corns for something else. This removes the 4-5. Top deck madness here. Why not? 
It really depends what else he does. If the, if the if the you know if he's playing a bunch of one health minions and a teacher in genetic experiment this turn, I'll take the three for one, no problem. But otherwise, oh, look at that go. Is him drawing cards the last thing we want to happen in this match? Probably face damage matters more than the extra card, right? It's a little one drop. I think this is fine. So we have cob cannons. Coming right up. The music is gone? I hear it. It's just quiet. Turn up your volume. I really like it being faint so it doesn't interfere with the highlight comps and stuff. It's just supposed to be a little bit of background music. There's also the 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 amount of like intensity of the different musics of the different heroes are not even. There's some of them that are very ringy. I don't know if they're necessarily louder per se, but they're much more ringy. So I try to keep it on the minimum. So then the subtle ones are very a little bit hard to hear, but the really intense ones. I think like Hugh Giganticus has very intense music. So this is an incredible play. I mean, look at it. He invested so much into this already. So we kill that, and we set up even more power. <laughs> and he gets a little freeze pirate. This deck has 10 answers to Fossil Head. Colonel Corn, Cobb Cannon, and Toad is a good answer, and the Ice Spores are a good answer. Oh, I guess the. Right, Colonel Corn doesn't answer it, but two Ice Spores. So that's good. True, true. He's going face. See, there's a certain point where these guys are just ignoring my minions. He could have gotten three free damage here. He doesn't care. He feels like he's going to need to somehow rush, rush E. In order to get it in, we finally see Ice Bore when we have no field space. I'll probably just spam a... What was this again? It was a Freeze Pirate. I'll probably do this offensively in clear lane or something. <laughs> if he kills Cobb Cannon, another, another Sunflower will spawn and we'll play third Cobb Cannon. Or, well, let's just do this here to make sure we don't give him some chance of buffing this and I don't know what. It's okay. It's a 6-6 six, six too. 6-6 six, six without really any significant loss. That's not player. Doesn't really matter. It's not face damage, but it's a lot of pressure. Okay. Okay. So yeah, it's good we removed one of the cards there. He is going face for three. He actually would have gotten seven damage here if he hadn't gone with the cow. Look at us forcing these Neptunas to, like, when we have 10 health to try to rush us. We're still up now. That's just going to be his last block this game. Uh, we don't have a team up, but I'll just do this play. It's a little sad, but... Guys, look! It's called Improv Cop Cannon! <laughs> Literally the most improvised Cop Cannon removal you'll ever see. Ooh, look at that guy! That guy's hot. I don't care. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Look! How can it did a thing? <laughs> Not a bad ice bore though. It, puts, it literally puts six damage on the on the board. It it actually kills him. That ice bore did finish off this opponent, man. It got low. Woo! That's a close game, man. So we're four and one. And that's counting the one loss. <laughs> really guys. <laughs> He rolled three 20s in a row. It was just 20-sided dice. <laughs> Whooping them out. Getting those 20s. Uh, I Fry, are you green colorblind? I'm like green red. Did you know that you're writing Fry him up in the Twitch webcam? What? Oh, here? Is super bright and saturated neon green. Yeah, I knew it was. It's supposed to be bright. I tried lighter colors, but it didn't look as good. Okay, guys, here we're making a poll in the chat. In fact, I'll make it an official poll. Um, new poll. Here, I'll mulligan first before we do the poll, the input poll. Uh, we'll keep one light game card with three ram cards. That's really good. Uh, are the fry and up words way too extra yes tone down the neon green 
And I am colorblind, so I do need I I do need your um your input. And no, keep it the way it is. And we'll have a, a poll for two minutes here. Make it three minutes. Voting starts now. Anything to do with colors, guys? I'll 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 take color corrections because I am I am colorblind. I tried other things. I tried blue. I didn't try like darker green, but I don't think like a jungle green would look good there. <laughs> you know? I think it kind of needs. I tried yellow. Yellow was too bright, so I turned it, I toned it down by turning it into sort of like a. A bright green. It looks good to me, but <laughs> I really like it. What font am I using? It looks like the like the Supercell font, some like bootleg Supercell font. So we had a bungee already. This doesn't go anywhere. I'm a little bit. The twin sunflowers are kind of off. I wonder if instead of ice borer, we should just have briar rose in this. It would really make the, both the twin sunflower and the solar winds a lot better. So wait, we're making a Twitch poll. It's one of the many things here we do with the live stream. Honestly, I just started this the other day. I like making little polls. It's fun. I would sometimes just ask a question in the chat and they'll say it, but then everyone's just spamming a million times. So uh, didn't have infinity clones. That's really his worst superpower is encrypt. So that's pretty lucky he started with that a little anti anti tempo. So hopefully we're able to pull off a removal play. Ugh. We have to play around line dancing zombies still. Yeah, uh, it's definitely line dancing zombie. If it was, um, I should have put this here. If it was flame face, maybe it's swashbuckler. There's a very small chance of swashbuckler. I should have really played around line dancing zombie though. It, the positioning was pretty obvious. This should have gone here. My bad. I also could have just committed this. Honestly, we have a cop cannon that kills us for free now. It's okay. We also can do this play, which is really good. It's only a difference of a one health. It doesn't really even matter. I don't think this is a good enough cop cannon, and I really want to preserve my ramp. It could be another line dancing zombie. But... Man, the line dancing zombie is getting it done. So much value. We still have cop cannon this turn. Graveyard though, the answer is cop cannon. Like we can only kill one minion now. I guess like, you can play him one still. So. That's a frog. I do like me a frog. Is this worth a cop cannon? It's also going phase for six instead of four. This also ramps to Colonel Corner. This is gonna be the fun. The, the 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 voting was 86%. Keep it the way it is. 86%. Looks like it's not just my color blindness. Oh, should I played around cowboy and actually played cop can in there so I could swallow this? I actually move, that's so annoying. I guess I'll use the other one. <sighs> More spores. The frog is actually a better answer to this. We end up getting a twin. Another cowboy is just gonna demolish us, though. Uh, I'm just trying to calculate face damage now. This is 7. I'll make 13. So this will kill the cowboy, both cowboys, basically. This has gotta be right. Another cowboy. Uh, he can't make, even with a sugar retreat, we'll be down to one. He can't actually win with us. Smoke bombing, though. No, that wins for him. Man, Graveyard Cowboy is going to be one of the things that can just demolish this deck in any deck. Too bad. All right. It's your second loss. Oh, some more, much more reasonable loss than the first one. Got to win two straight games now for the bets.
It's okay. Graveyard Cowboy. Combo. Especially against Solar Flare, you know, if we had Gravestone answers, it would be one thing. But we don't. Honestly, I don't think it's a bad thing that Solar Flare is so weak against Gravestones. I mean, it's annoying because somehow everyone has been Neptuna and Infinity. <laughs> we haven't seen this many Neptunas in a long time. No one plays Neptuna anymore. Uh, we beat the Neptunas, lost to the Infinity. It's a little annoying that Solar Flare doesn't advance to the Gravestones, but it's kind of a good thing. Having access to the two classes, Solar, and I guess we have to play around summoning and beam me up and everything, so I'm not spamming this. Uh, having access to Solar and Kabloom is two really high-powered classes, as you can see from this deck and every Solar Flare deck. It's there's The fact that she has like a, a clear weakness is, is probably a good thing. Yeah, I think we're just chilling here. I, I don't think we're just gonna feed that to a beam me up or a bats. Bats especially like draws a card and ugh, stays on the board. But we'll just start off with metal pedal here and we'll be quick. Really, this is a very easy card for Immortish to answer. This is I don't know what. What are you gonna have? What could you possibly have to answer this? You could play bounty first, but you know, then we can avoid it. I have a little sunflower. I love sunflowers. They're so cute. Maybe this should go in four, so there's two different lanes the cop cannon can play in. I kind of instinctively do three, so we have ground lanes both to the left and right for block meter manipulation. We can also play on heights, and then cop cannon involves this and the heights lane. Maybe three is overall better. Okay, so it's like a opponent spent two cards that draw, and then one that doesn't. But anyway, <laughs> I think we broke. He played three and drew two. We played one, so we kind of broke even there. Um, we do probably have to be wary of teleport Zombot now, though. It's probably just weed whack metal pedals. Looks pretty good. That's a two for one. That was a super power too, because Bama. It just makes the metal pedal a little more efficient. It's just a little toy. Someone gave me this for my birthday once. A bunch of little figurines. I just found this one in my little bag it came in. I think these are bootleg. I, I doubt these are even uh it's from Amazon, some random Chinese company Amazon. I'm doubting these are even licensed. But... I don't know. Maybe there. <laughs> I tried contacting PopCap once about licensing, like actually like making like plushies and t-shirts with their IP on it, and oh my gosh. <laughs> EA is a hard company to deal with. That's all I gotta say. That's all you had to say. I don't know. I guess this just goes here. Uh, could use a couple more lake cards, especially like a cornucopia, just to get too much value for Morticia to feel clear. She good at dealing with one target at a time, not great at field clearing though. What are with these environments? I'm playing on ground so I don't get alien news, but... Honestly, it's not much of an answer. There's still a 2-3 that gives me extra sun. Let's see if we can get a nice big punish. We do have Cobb Cannon in case he spams like a Garb Throwing Garg right now. I really should develop these sooner than later because Zomba is coming. We got basically three more turns until Zomba. So we're going to probably use the Berry Blast for reach. And I'm going to really try to pummel, pummel face now. We're at 11. Let's just draw a Cobb Cannon. Go face with the ice bar. Hardly seems worth it. Didn't you sell Mug Mug? Yeah, but that mug is actually not their IP. Because it's the Frymup Zombie, which was an original fan art. 
Uh, we put a shovel in his hand, which is not the shovel from PvZ. We didn't use any of their assets. So it's, uh, it doesn't technically fall under, uh, their intellectual property. No, 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 no. Come on, dry octopusy. <laughs> dry octopusy. That sounds so bad. Why the dry? Oh yeah, guys, I'm still at the mug mug. Yeah, this this shovel's just like a clip art, and so is the hat. And the the drawing's original drawing. I'm pretty sure they don't have the 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 word mug. <laughs> that was the community creation to even call it that. So I'm pretty sure it's not copyrighted. Uh, we go face. What is that? It's teleportation zombie with a six drop. That's our last cob cannon. We don't commit this, yeah. Is there any, like... I think there's a six drop, uh, you know, zombie we have to play around here. He's nibbling that. He's playing, like, Bounty Hunter in two more? I could have... I forgot about Trickster. Damn. Forgot about Trickster. I should have actually played Twin Sunflower and protected us. That's gonna make a big difference in this game, there. I'm looking at two eight. These berry blasts probably need to go face there, right? I'm actually not seeing the play here. I really want my Colonel Corn to be the one going face this turn. Do we take the six damage? I'm not really sure what to do. I'm, I really want my 6 damage to go face this turn. So I'm going to kill these two. And I'd like the berry blast also to be part of our reach. And we'll take the 6 damage. Now if we go face for 6, we'll be down to 8. And we have 6 damage here. Oh, there's the alien news. We've been playing around it the whole game. Oh, man, this guy's got every answer. See what else this guy has in store for us. It's just Colonel Colonel Car. We'll probably see another big board here, so maybe I'll berry blast it. We're really just proccing the block here, which is kind of sad. But there's also bats that comes down. Alright, we'll spend one to keep five damage. We could have played this behind, but then six damage is wasted the face. This is rough, man. There's a time, so many answers. Ugh. Good old Immortisha. I see our deck is actually, with Cornucopia, I think exactly our deck would actually be faster than this deck. Our win condition is Cornucopia here. I mean, we still can get it. We got three of them sitting in our deck somewhere. That is not it. Could really use corn. We're very likely just gonna see teleport Zombot here. We'll commit these small cards in case he doesn't have it. I think we're gonna lose the bets on this one, guys. We need a cornucopia right now. If he just has garbage, he's used all of his answers already. So if he just has garbage, he would play bats here. Acid rain. He used Evaporate. Did he use Acid Rain? There's Dry Samba.
Cornucopia, where are you? There's his Zombot, though. I don't think he has another one. Maybe he's been waiting for a teleport. Where is Cornucopia? We can't even kill Big Borg with this. I think we're gonna keep on trying to make him answer stuff. Keep the damage on his face. Alien news. But if he just has answers, that's fine, because Cornucopia will win. Come on, Cornucopia! That's not it. Didn't he only play what? Maybe he played two big... Sorry, he played two big Borgs already. My bad. Lost track a little bit. Cornucopia is the win condition. This whole game comes down to if we can top deck a Cornucopia here. We have two berry blasts for emergency removal or for reach for his face. Come on! Okay. <laughs> Look at this entire black hole land. The land of the black hole. So it's Zombot Trickster Hybrid, and this guy's now getting draws. That's the problem. He might be holding like a teleportation zombie, but he hasn't. I mean, maybe he just top deck teleport zombie. It doesn't seem like it, though. Extinction. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Wow, he's out of rockets, too. There's a cob cannon. Grrp. It'll work against Trickster, I suppose. Um... Yeah... I think it's just like this, and like this. We could have utilized the twin sunflower there, we got a proc, because we usually don't. I mean, we could have rolled a one, and he has no answers. I don't know, I don't like that play. We might, we might see teleport Big Borg here. There's a rocket. <sighs> see, the corner cor cor cop cannon just not enough here. Now he's down to six. There's one more berry blast in the stack somewhere. There it is. So if we proc the block, we'll win next turn. And we need him to not get his Zombot. Zombot straight up wins. That is not good. That is very bad. And he also prevented us from proccing his block. Oh, that's bad. How can we proc his block, though? Oh, I might do it, man. So there's a Garg. Perhaps I cob cannons too soon. Rolls a 1. That doesn't help. No, man! Just lost this long war of attrition. Honestly, one more turn this hitting face, we would have been good. We would have double berry blasted him in the face. But he has this too. So he's always hitting us three times now. But we didn't get our cornucopia, man. That's what the whole game was. He just got his garg throwing garg and his cyborg before we got our cornucopia. I don't think there's any out here. I mean, we can double berry blast this, but then he either wins here or with the next minion that he throws. <sighs> Maybe wasting corn was the problem. Yeah, we're just done. All right, four and three. We'll go for the five and three. I'll put this on YouTube. This is a fun stream. Thank you, Twa. Tech needs a fourth cornucopia. I just feel like they're gonna break, but maybe. I mean, in a long control matchup, I suppose so. I, it doesn't feel like the ice pores have really been popping off. <laughs> so maybe I'll get rid of these. I'll add in, like, a fourth cornucopia. And I don't know. 
I don't even know. The metal petals have been so good. All right, riding in two briar roses. Because I said so. Anyway, I won't even update the deck. What is wrong? My entire Chrome has just been lagging. Everything on my PC has been lagging. Blue Stacks has been working great. All right, that's a fine starting hint. The answers. Uh, this is pretty good. Rolling Stone. Too bad. We were so close to winning that game too. That's why it's so sad. Uh, not a lot of beam me ups and rust bolts, so I'm gonna yolo this. Really, don't even have anything to ramp to, but we got away with it. Even just setting up a couple more ramp cards or berry blasting something. A lot of things we can do with this. What is this guy doing? Are we hard playing into weed spray? Let's do this so we're not playing that hard into weed spray, shall we? Uh, I forgot that supering his face allows us maybe to play cop cannon next turn. Nope. I think it's just dry cup. You guys all yelling at me, but it's turn four. It's got to be dry cup cannon. Maybe we'll even put it here, so it just protect it. And rocket. He didn't buff this, so we'll just super it. We got all the answers in the book, 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 book. We have all our ramp cards and our answers. We need some actual late game. Come on, man. It would have been so much easier just to have Colonel Corn there. Did we even have eight? No, we had seven. Six, seven. No, 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 no. Nah, got something good. I'll eat the pot, I don't care. <laughs> Yummy pot. Where's cornucopia? <laughs> we always want. I'm running four cornucopias in this deck, non ironically. How crazy is that? Bruh. We are protected! <laughs> he is- <laughs> this guy's protected. He's drawing cards. He got a card drawing machine! Kite Flyer should just have Garbage Man's ability, which is his cards should be squeezed into one. It'll be called Garbage Kite. Spammy spam. 
Still no cornucopia. I'm running 16 late game cards. What more am I supposed to do? If you count prior rows, I'm, ca I'm actually running 18 late game cards. We've gotten two so far. I guess it's one of the disadvantages of all out ramp, is you can get too many late game cards or too few. There's two different ways of breaking hard. I'm only running three twin sunflowers. You got extinction event from uh from dude. Wow, that's just has eight health. Fine. Honestly, even if I got cornucopia right now, I couldn't play it, so. <laughs> There's Briar Rose, guys. You happy now? We have 15 sun and no plays. We're at 17. <laughs> Kill me. Oh, this is all gonna be too late. The Briar Rose is gonna have to get some work in to get us back into this game. <laughs> it's called All Out Ramp for a reason. <laughs> this game we bricked. Alright, well, stop and only trigger twice there. I'm s I'm bored bricked. I can't play anything. He just turned this to zero attack. Maybe I shouldn't have spammed this card. I thought it's just doing damage in the meantime. It doesn't hurt, right? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> We're so done. He's drawing as many cards as he wants. This kite flyer is still just chugging along. <laughs> I'm literally burning 16 sun this turn. It's so sad. Finally, I can play some PvZ heroes. That's fun. But his whole hand is just one cost nine nines now. The hell am I supposed to do to get back into this game? Now we have 13 sun. Let's just run out here. It's two, five, and six. I don't actually even know how to make this play. I would love to keep Briar Rose alive. But then what do we do? I guess it's like this. I think it's like this. Oh, we can prevent him from drawing a card if we do this here. Alright, that's fine. The Sunflower is basically just as good just playing a draw than using it for cup cannons. What is he? How did he get another nerf? What did it happen to the first one? If that's his nerf. Is he gonna Rolling Stone that now? I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <sighs> it's so sad. We just get Cornucopia as a consolation prize. One time. One time. We play both of these. <sighs> okay, well, GG. <laughs> I can't even afford to swallow his stomp it on so we're four and four this was so sad i think i'm gonna put this on youtube because this was a very entertaining stream so this will be like probably the first unironic deck that i broke even with that will actually make it on youtube i mean this game was a disaster <laughs> just had board break <laughs> I probably should have saved. I guess I know with this deck to save board space. All right, guys, we're gonna get Cornucopia and and get a great zucchini, and we're gonna get back into this game. Watch, guys, watch. Just you watch. Should have saved that scorch. Yeah, this actually is a good card here, and it doesn't help whatsoever. 
Zero. <laughs> it helps nothing. Uh, Quaytorel says, you can't even point out the obvious misplay without getting banned. This is literally 1948. So if you read the rules of the stream, it says, if you point out a misplay, explain. That's all I want you to do. But just saying the word misplay, or saying that was a misplay, or saying throwing, then you're going to get banned because you're not following the rules of the stream. It's not constructive at all. So you're not being censored. You are DMing me. Every message you send in my chat, you are DMing me. And if I've literally asked you explicitly, you pressed OK, I understand the rules before you join the chat. If I've asked you explicitly not to do that, not to give me unconstructive criticism, then I'm going to time you out if you do that. Okay? Don't do it again. Thank <sighs> Oh, man. Oh, man. Should we play one more game as a palette cleanser? I think we will. We gotta end that on win, guys. Cornhub logo. Ah, uh, see, that's fun. We'll keep going, anyways. We'll be small again. Pretty good. And pretty good. It's not such a... It's not such a weird request to not give unconstructive criticism. Sorry. Oh, I'm being like super unreasonable there. Uh, so we'll kill that. And develop brown roofs. Looks pretty good. I probably should have played around with Flick there. I did explain. Yeah, I'll see if you explain. All right, so we're going to read Quasarel's message history, guys. Since you, you really wanted to be put on trial here, well, this is what we're doing. Okay. Um, you should make a body pillow with your face. Five cost garg feasts. You should run four cornucopias. Okay, that's a good one. That was very much a misplay. I'm not seeing any comments between those two. I'm trying to give you the benefit of the doubt here, but you just said that was very much a misplay. Counts as a violation. Should I save board space for this? Did I miss a message? Ah, you did right before should have saved Cobb Cannon a minute before. I completely missed that message, so... Just writing that was very much a misplay. All right, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. You explained in a message a, a minute before. Look, okay, I'm not God. <laughs> I don't even know if I have to apologize for that. I hear. For you, your two messages were connected, and for me, there was no way for me to start scrolling up the chat every single time I see people, because there's usually a few people every day who start doing that. People get very depressed when I lose any game in PvZ Hero. I think we understand where each other are coming from, right? But to come back and say it's literally 1948, I mean, come on. You're better than that. That, I know you're better than that. Oh, anyway, guys. It's a good place to call it a night. On a nice positive note, a nice win, a nice serotonin boost, a nice little, little shot of dopamine for you guys. Five, four. 
I'm gonna put that on YouTube because overall that was a very good stream. Uh, we had a lot of crazy moments and a lot of highlights and a major fail. And the deck like kind of like performed super well sometimes and then hard bricked others. So I guess that's part of this deck. Alright guys, that is gonna be all for today. I will see you in the next one. Peace! This is Fry.